disclaimer. A very small percentage of individuals may experience epileptic seizures when exposed to certain light patterns or flashing lights. Exposure to certain patterns or backgrounds on a computer screen or while playing video games may include an epileptic seizure in these individuals. Certain conditions may induce previously undetected epileptic symptoms even in persons who have no history of prior seizures or epilepsy. If you or anyone in your family have an epileptic condition, consult your physician prior to playing. If you experience any of the following symptoms while playing a video or computer game, dizziness, altered vision, eye or muscle twitches, loss of awareness, disorientation, any involuntary movement or convulsions, immediately discontinue use and consult your physician before resuming. Now, normally when they have these type of disclaimers, probably going to be a good and probably going to be a scary game. This is a work of fiction. Names, characters, businesses, places, events, locales, and incidents are either the products of the author's imagination or used in fictitious manner. Any resemblance to actual persons living or dead or actual events is purely coincidental. Interesting. Best experience, play with sound on. Headphones are recommended. And welcome to a new game called Trials of Harmony. Now, I don't know anything about Trials of Harmony. <laughs> I've never played it. Um, we're going to just jump right into it. I don't even, I honestly don't even know what it's about. It was recommended to me by one of my amazing subscribers. You may even know this person. This person also created the background for Tongue Tied Games, Peachy Pup, recommended Trials of Harmony. So without further ado, we're going to jump right into it now. Davis. G45 Security Solutions. White, was that you escorting the kids back at the reception? Davis is typing a message. Did you get the short straw again, bud? Huh. That was me, all right. You know it. I don't know what is the wrong and right answer. <laughs> <laughs> They're both the same, so yeah, that was that was that was me, all right. What's this up here? I don't know what that does. Didn't really. I'm not sure what that does. It's these little arrows. Text read speed. We should probably increase that. Can we increase that? Is that increase it or is that s slow it down? I don't know. What's over here? N not a jam thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to click the the left the upper left arrow, seeing if that does anything. Uh, so yeah, that was me, all right. Oh, it's typing for me. That's not that wasn't not me. Ooh, hey. CBR emergency. What's happening? Help! All personnel must evacuate the facility immediately. Please head towards the surface level self decont decontamination chambers. No, no, wake up, wake up. Facility level quarantine commencing in in nine minutes and forty seven seconds. What's that noise? I can hear a noise. Sounds like a heartbeat. What's going on? It's a black screen now, but I'm still here. <laughs> still here, but now it's a black screen. What's going on? Okay, now it's loading. Now, I, I'm so confused. Let me check the volume. Let's turn the volume up. Sound effects up. User interface up. Background music we need to keep off. Don't need any uh, copyright. Don't, don't, don't want any, any potential copyrighted music going. Um, main channel. So what are we, what, what are we doing now? So we got Bradley. What happened? What happened to our other conversation? So now, now that I click this little message box, we got Bradley here. 
So this is Bradley. So it doesn't say anything. Let's go back to main character. Okay. All right. So what happened? Bradley's typing. Where am I? I don't. I don't know Bradley. Can we can we hurry this up? Oh oh shoot! I I, I did that. I was. I, <laughs> so Bradley, are you okay? You passed out. I was so scared. I thought I was gonna have a panic attack. I'm okay. Don't worry. Are you hurt? Oh no, I'm fine. Just a little dizzy. Is Lila with you? So we have Bradley and Lillian, and then there's a Lila. I ah, <laughs> probably could have could have done with a different name. <laughs> <laughs> That's too close. I'm going to get him so confused. Lillian. So no, Lila is not with her. We're just going to keep skipping because it, it, it feels like there's a long wait in between messages. She passed out before I did. Okay. I wonder... You do know where she is either? You Oh, you don't know where she is either. So you don't even know where Lila is? Sorry. And where the fuck are we anyway? <laughs> Just went and rated R. He took the words right out of my... <laughs> m <laughs> right out of my... M keyboard. <laughs> he just took the words right out of my keyboard. All right, all right. We need to let's 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 get some. Okay. No touch screen. Okay, took the took the words right out of my touch screen because we're we're using cell phones. This is SS, SMS game game. All right, so now we're typing Tracy. So tra oh, so we had a new one. Do we do we have James and Tracy? Okay. Ooh, ooh, that's 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 Tracy. Henry, is that you? What happened? Why are you here? Why why am I here? One one thing at a time, sis. Okay, so Tracy's our sister. But yeah, this is this is not looking good at all. I think that's what it said. This is not looking too good, okay. So why you're why you're in here is something I would like to know. <laughs> Why you're in here is something I would like to know too. Okay. Oh, okay. So now we can. So that, that that vibration kind of like noise. Let's go to the main channel. Maybe it was from here. I don't know what the 35 AP is. I'm not sure what that is yet. So we can switch between main channel and individuals. So this is. James, Tracy, we were just talking to Tracy, this is Lillian, and James again, and Bradley, okay, so let's go back to main channel, last thing I remember was the CBRN alarm in the elevator, right, I remember that, everyone was passing out, I was so worried, I think I did too, we were there with you, I think. So Bradley was with Joy. Oh, it's me. We were. Before anything else, though. My name's Henry White. Okay, so that's us. We are Henry White. I'm with Level 1 on-site security. Who else is in this chat? So now we're about to find out who all is in the chat. Don't 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 you all speak up all at once. Nathan Holmes, H I C A R's staff psychologist. We got Joy Yang, staff nurse. We have James. We must be at a Pokemon Center then. <laughs> Joy. Nurse Joy. I get it. Is James, are you part of Team Rocket then? 
Uh, nobody understands that. Nobody gets it. Just me. <laughs> Just Henry and James. Oh, Tracy figured it out. I'm Tracy White, system administrator and head of the cybersecurity mm -hmm. team. Nice to meet everyone, I guess. Okay, Lillian. Miller. Lillian Miller. <laughs> Bond. James Bond. Miller. Lillian Miller. I'm a psych uh, physics student. Bradley and I were just doing research. Just doing a research visit. Okay. That's why we were, we're here. Sorry to cut you out, Lillian. Oh, it's Delilah. Somebody new. Got, got a little bit Delilah. But I'm here, Brad. I think I'm okay now. Oh, so Delilah is Lila. I get it. I get it. Are you feeling any better? Bradley, thank God that you're okay. You scared the shit out of me when you passed out. Sorry. Okay. I don't know what happened, but yeah, I feel better now. Okay. What are we doing now? Somebody else typing? Do we need to flip to somebody else's? Oh, so, oh, we can we can scroll through all the a whole bunch of different things. Okay, I'm just going through seeing if there's anything that we can do, but it doesn't look like there's anything that we can do there. So I, I don't know what we're supposed to be doing right now. I have no idea. There's nowhere, there's nothing that we can type in anyone's chat. I have no idea what we're doing. There's gotta be something though. Oh, now Delilah's back typing. Took forever. I guess I should introduce myself too. Yes, let's just hurry up. I'm Delilah Ashworth. Nice to meet you, Delilah Ashworth. We were supposed to be visiting the installations. Brad, Lillian, and I, Mr. White, was escorting us. Okay, so I was escorting them. Henry White. Yeah. What she said. Okay. Name's Bradley Silva, by the way. Raymond. Raymond Graham. I'm with the pharmaceutical R&D team in here. We got George Fisher. There's a lot of people. There's a lot of characters in here. <laughs> I am not going to be able to keep up with them. Same as Raymond here, just with a different team. Is it my turn now? Sure, James. You've waited patiently enough, I guess. I don't know. Just just tell us what, what's going on. Jesus. There we go. There we go. Let's skip your little ahems. Rejoice, pleb plebeian, plebeians. <laughs> For I am the only one, or I am the one and only James Garrison DeAndre Sterling. So what's your occupation, James? Oh, my goodness. Just answer the jam question, James. At least one of you should know me. Nobody knows who you are, James. Just tell us what you do. Doesn't ring a bell. See, nobody, nobody jam knows. Just answer. The bartending wizard from Lovely Wizards 2. I don't know who that is or what that is. But he, James is a bartending wizard from Lovely Wizards 2. 
I don't know what that means or what it is. I, I did not a clue. I love that. Oh, okay, so it's a movie, I guess. <laughs> I guess it's a movie. And he was a bartender in the movie. It was a cheap movie, but still a movie in itself. <laughs> Bradley is a big fan of James. That's the correct reaction. Thank you, Bradley. Oh my goodness, James so full of himself. Anyone else? Nobody knows who you are. Delilah and Tracy have no idea who you are, James. Well, C list actor, probably. <laughs> One out of nine isn't even that bad considering the movie ratings. I still get the chills from just uh, from thinking about them. Probably was, didn't sound like a very good movie. You're an actor then. Of course he is. Yes, sir. And what exactly does an actor inside a research facility? Recording an ad for a hair growth pill. Okay. You guys developed it here or something? I don't know. Bad timing, apparently, my friend. Now you're in lockdown. This is one hell of an under understatement. On the other hand, this is probably the best nap I've had in a while. So, like, everybody got knocked out. Everybody just, like, lost consciousness or something like that. So we're ten people total. Ten people total. Anyone else missing anything? Other than, you know, your memory from the past however long you were knocked out. Emma. Did we, did we meet Emma yet? Emma's typing? Emma Rivera, sushi chef, apprentice. So does that make us 11? So James asking if she's a cook. George, researchers also need to eat, lad. I love sushi. Yeah, I, I, I jam love sushi too. It's one of my favorites. I got this like amazing like all you can eat like Asian all you can eat buffet close by, and they have like now when you talk about like an all you can eat buffet, you know you're 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 probably the first thing that comes to mind is like you know not high quality food you know and they have all you can eat sushi there too and so you're then you're thinking like oh it's probably gonna give you sal yeah <laughs> probably gonna get like a a foodborne illness from it just because like a buffet you know sushi all you can eat probably not the best combinations but i'll tell you what some of the best sushi you can find at this 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 restaurant near me i mean all you can eat this sushi and and it's just so good it's so good so delicious and it's all you can eat it's perfect because I mean I, li I like sushi and I'll pay for sushi but there's nothing you know when, when you're paying ten dollars for a roll that that's too jam much but if you can get all you can eat for 15 bucks I take that every day So call it whatever you wish. I was here to help the chef prep some meals for the higher ups. More importantly, now that it meets and uh, now that the meet and greet is done, can we please focus on our surroundings? Is everyone here alone? Lillian's alone. James is alone. George is alone. I'm alone. Same here. I'm sitting on a bed in, in what resembles a fairly bare motel. White walls and a wooden floor, single bed, small coffee table, sofa, and a small bathroom. That door would lead outside is the door that would lead outside is completely plain. No doorknob nor keyhole. It also seems pretty sturdy. It almost feels like we're in an escape room type thing. <laughs> there's a second floor to that. Uh, there's a second second door that looks like some kind of elevator or something. Interesting. It didn't budge either when I tried to open it before. 
I wonder if everybody's in a similar room. Exactly the same for Tracy. So yeah, everybody's, it seems like everyone's in a similar room. It, it's, does his description match everyone else? Yes, it sure does. Yep. So what? Have we been kidnapped and thrown into matching rooms? Where are we? It almost, it, it does. It's, it's starting to sound like a uh, uh, an escape room type game. But we're all able to communicate with each other. So I'm willing to bet that there's something that goes on in somebody else's room that will affect your own room to be able to help you get out. You, 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 we're all going to either have to work together or work against each other. <laughs> we're either going to be competing against each other or working together to get to get out safely. So what, we're all kidnapped and thrown in matching rooms. Where are we? Kidnapped is such an ugly word, Miss Miller. Ooh, the GM. The game manager or, so, or whatever it is. I'd feel much better if you'd think of this uh, think of this as, say, an extended vacation. Interesting. All included, of course. All expenses are on me. I can assure you that our accommodations are at least as good as any hotel you've been to. Breakfast here is pretty good, too. I love breakfast. And who the fuck are you? <laughs> Says Bradley. <laughs> Very blunt. And now being rude won't get you anywhere, Mr. Silva. We'll have our official introductions in a few moments. But first, I believe a little tutorial is required in order for you, my participants, to play this game properly. So yes, we are in a game. Yes, Miss Rivera, a game. More specifically, a death game. I, your host, will play the part of your game master during your stay here. I See, I, I was close. It's a game manager, game master. And you'll find, ladies and gentlemen... And you find, ladies and gentlemen, will be my players. Let's avoid interruptions and allow me to explain, shall we? Now, each of you have a shiny silver bracelet attached to your left arm, yes? The device you're looking for is called a heart locker. They will be my, uh, they will be my insurance that you'll behave strictly within my rules. Fail to do so, an electric charge will be delivered through it, causing its wearer, you, to enter an immediate state of cardiac arrest. Oh, he's going to stop your heart. He's going to jam stop your heart. Interesting. Aside from being my uh, aside from being my leash on you, you'll also be able to monitor everyone's heart rate through it. Quite handy, don't you think? Oh, that's that's where. So maybe maybe the thirty five AP is their heart rate. I mean, or or that's just like their life. So we need to hopefully keep everybody alive. Oh, man. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm sure we're all civilized here, so I have faith I won't be needing to use it very often. Unless Mr. Silva wants to prove me wrong that badly. Oh, don't, don't, don't say something bad, Bradley. Fuck you. <laughs> all right. <laughs> oh, Bradley's getting ready to get his heart stopped. Oh, no. Fuck me. Where's Bradley? I don't know which one Brad. Oh, there he is. He's Participant eliminated. Bradley Silva. Ooh. Rip Bradley. Bradley is no longer part of the game. That was. That just made it real. <laughs> <laughs> For everyone in this game, that just made it legitimately real. Why did you do that to him? Well, he, he, he didn't want to play the game. Bradley, talk to me. If anything happened to him, I promise you. Oh, Lillian, you're going you're gonna to get your heart stopped too. I will find you. And I will hang you by your ankles. <laughs> and very delicately, delicately slit your throat, slowly bleeding you dry like the pig you are. Lillian's got a, got a little mouth on her, too. Got a, and the GM, I'm, I'm sure the GM's not going to be very happy about that. 
Lillian, you better. Jam GM's gonna do something to you, Lillian. But let's calm down, shall we? This was just a silly joke to break the ice a little bit. Isn't that right, Mr. Silva? Wait, so Bradley's still here? Son of a bitch. So maybe he just got shocked like really bad, but didn't kill him. How about you come down from your little safe space and settle things face to face like a man? Bradley's still talking. So he didn't die. Oh, I didn't realize the shock would also hurt your feelings. <laughs> oh, so he's down the one health left. Interesting. So he's he's right on the cusp of dying. Did he hurt you? He shocked the hell out of him. All right, SOB muted me. I couldn't type. Did he actually shock you? Enough to stun me for a few second, seconds. Yeah, I feel fine, though. Correct. Who are you? The LED in your bracelet just turned green. Oh, the LED in my bracelet just turned green. And same here. Same with me. How very perceptive of you. Now you are, they are now officially armed. Next time I trigger a heart locker, I can assure you it won't be a jest. Oh, so now that the bracelets are green, that means like he hits that button, you're done for. You are donezo. Who are you? Who are you? <laughs> I thought I made myself quite clear to everyone, Miss Miller. I am your game master. I will be your host for however long you manage to last in here. Your name. Give me a name. He, Lily, you're about to get shocked. He's the game master. Blackout. Yeah, I, I saw that. I saw my... my uh, my phone kind of dimmed a little bit there. Kind of like a blackout. Same here. Oh, shit. What's this? Oh, that was the elevator. As all light dimmed down in each of... As all light dimmed down in each one of their respective rooms, a clear pathway highlighted in red LEDs laid before our participants. At the end of this pathway, with a soft yet very mechanical sound, a door opened, revealing what one could only assume to be an elevator of sorts. And James typed that? Why did James type that? No one hired you to be a narrator, you buffoon. <laughs> Okay, so he was just screwing with people. That that was that was funny. <laughs> they actually did, but never mind that. <laughs> it did happen to everyone else, right? Of course it did. Indeed, you will all be boarding the elevator to your own individual game rooms. The game rules will be ex explained to you once you're inside. So we are starting a new game. And our lives are on the line. <laughs> Hen, this is important. Do not take this guy lightly. I've got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, me too. There have been some effed up rumors going around from the very first day I was assigned here. Yeah, I'm aware. I, 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 guess, I guess we were aware the whole time. <laughs> Also, make sure you keep this in mind. I'm sure all conversations are being monitored. Watch what you type, of course. Got it. Interesting. Let's go ahead and get back. Oh, who's this? So we can talk to this guy. George. Okay, so this is George. George, talk to me, George. What's up? Why the fuck is my sister in this mess too? Yeah, George, tell me why. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need some explanations from you. Calm, don't you, don't you damn tell me to calm down. You know just as much as I do. Calm down. This was never supposed to happen. 
One of you got careless. Either that or completely sold out the entire team. Ooh. And the plot thickens. What's the, Does George have something behind all this? I am aware, Henry. Obviously. I don't know what happened either. But you also knew the risks when you signed up for this. We've talked about this, remember? Fuck you. <laughs> I, thought, I thought I was going to say something like that. <laughs> Sorry. I know it's not your fault. Oh, okay. So we're... we're saying sorry to George. I don't re regret my decision, but you know I have to take care of her. We have to protect our sister at all costs. Even if it even if it costs Bradley his one his one life point left. <laughs> we need to protect Tracy. I understand, of course. Back to the main channel. Lillian is typing a message. Bradley, should we use the elevator? We probably shouldn't make him angry. Why Why would we? This is probably just a stupid experiment on a, reality, a really shitty reality TV prank or something else entirely. I don't fucking know. I say we just ignore, ignore whatever this POS says. And if you don't know what POS is, it's a point of sale. No, <laughs> piece of shit. Whatever this piece of shit says. No, 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 no. Let's not... Let's not upset this guy. Too dangerous to ignore. Bradley, I feel like your friend might be right. Take it from someone who has been working here for a long time now. This is, uh, that is, if we're still inside, H-I-C-A-R, for all I know, we could have been moved by now. Still, I believe we should all just calm down a bit, take a deep breath, and carefully go with whatever he says. There's no point in acting rebellious as long as he has us right under his thumb. Yeah, he pushes one button, you're done for. Nathan's probably right, this bracelet doesn't feel like a toy to me. Unless you figure a way to remove that thing without getting electrocuted to death. And I don't think, I'd be willing to bet that that's not a possibility. I suggest we stop this useless chit-chat and get in the elevator. This goes for everyone. There's always a way. We just need time. Yes, it's all going to be okay, I'm sure. Just try not to do anything reckless. Ooh, so now we're actually picking stuff. Agreed. Emma, you seem awfully eager. Care to share your reasonings? You know what? Fuck this. <laughs> I wonder what happens. Do we? Oh, what happens if we pick that? Oh, I kind of want to pick it and just see. Just to see what happens. Hmm. You know what? Fuck this. <laughs> Bradley's right. This has gone way too far already. I'm not playing along anymore. <laughs> you hear me open this fucking door and let us out. Oh, the game master's typing a message. Wonder what he's gonna do. Seems like we have a second candidate already. Give me your best shot, game master. Quit your bullshit. Prank's over. So be it then. What's getting ready to happen? Exemplary punishment coming right up. Uh-oh. Oh, no. <laughs> Participant Ooh. eliminated. Henry White. So did we die? So did we die? Oh no. 
Oh, we just left our sister by herself. I think we I think we're dead. Game over. <laughs> A rebel's death. Interesting. Well. Now I wonder where we start off at. Seeing as how we just died. Do we start off at the very beginning again? Because that's going to be a pain in the butt. Luckily, I think I could just skip all the way up to where we made that decision. So if that's the case, we're going to be right back at that at that decision in just a couple seconds. Oh, yeah, we're right there. So, Joy, it's, it's all going to be okay for... Uh, I'm sure just try not to be reckless. Try not to do anything reckless, right? So yeah, we we we're right up where we where we left off at. That's good. Agree. You know, or should we, you know, should we talk to Emma? Like why why is Emma so eager to get to the uh to get to the elevator? Hmm. I wonder if we can figure out I wonder if we can find some uh information but you know what i feel like if i ask that of emma already it might it might create tension between us and that might not be good either all right agreed look we're just gonna we we, we need to get to the elevator okay then into the creepy elevator we go what could possibly go wrong i have no idea <laughs> One. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your first challenge. Well, there you guys have it. Look, we got to room one. We've gotten through the intro. We're now at room one. We're going to end it here. We've died once already, but so far it's it's pretty intriguing. I'm kind of curious as to how this is going to go about and what, you know, I, I'm, I'm guessing there's going to be some puzzles that we're going to have to figure out. Hopefully we can save everybody's lives. I, I'm willing to bet somebody's going to get Somebody's going to get eliminated from the game, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Hopefully we can last. Uh, we probably, now that I know that we can essentially die, but then start right back up where we made the bad decision, I'll probably take some chances in, in the future with some of these, with, with, with the future videos, taking chances of, of making the wrong or right answers. If you're enjoying Trials of Harmony up to this point, hit that like button. Leave me a comment down below. And as always, thanks for watching. Love you all, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.